Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I do have in here it is WRC8, developed by Kitty Racing, or uh, formerly known as Kivotune. So they are using their in-house engine, their Kitty HD, and Kitty Racing or Kivotune have been the developers behind games like WRC7 and other WRC games already, and also some other random games like flat out 4 all right so let's take a look on the settings that i'm currently using in this game so i'm using border best record but in full screen i do use 720p and i'm mostly using a custom setting so i'm using uh, low settings but i made a small adjustments like for example texture filtering i decided to raise the median and visibility distance I decided to raise to medium 2 because it increased the draw distance of some objects that are important for you to raise decently. On the post processing I'm using TAA, I'm using also reflections on low, I disabled SSAO and I disabled motion board. But to make this game to run fine I had to use some tweaks uh, which was to reduce the resolution scaling of this game and to do that you need to go to documents my games wrc8 open this little file that you see in here on the video with the notepad or any editor that you have in your pc that you feel comfortable to use and as you can see this game have a lot of stuff that you can tweak i'm pretty sure if you can if you have the time to spare you can tweak a lot of stuff but in here you can see that the game features a dynamic resolution scaling and that I, I decided to use the maximum of 0 0.8 and the minimum of 0 0.5 so what I decided to say to the game is that it can scale down the resolution to a point that it will be something like 380p or 360p if it needs to you know to sustain those 30 frames per second and the difference is with the same performance but with much less resolution but with DAA I was able to get the graphics that you see on the left instead of having the graphics that I have on the right despite the right have more resolution overall what happens is you don't have shadows and most of the reflections and a lot of post processing are deactivated and on the left you get shadows uh, you get uh, much more detail into the distance you don't see the uh, the track being rendered on fly so I think it's a good improvement it is a good trade-off that you get for losing resolution but you get into viazing and a lot of other stuff so the requirements for this game I think they are quite true about it they are asking for an e3 2100 6 gigs of RAM and the GTX 650 so what we have in here it is pretty much at the same level of the minimum or lower than that and so here comes the results so with my tweaks applied with 720p with minimum slash or hyphen low what I got was an average of 30 frames per second with slight drops to 28 frames per second on a track with rain if you decide to go with uh, the regular 720p minimum what you get it's pretty much the same performance you just get like two extra frames and the one percent of 29 but if you use the tweaks like I this like I did show to you which is the 720p minimum low like I said before you get shadows and a lot of other stuff at a trade-off of resolution all right I think it's worth it I know that some people are not really satisfied by the fact of reducing resolution below the 720p but uh, let me be honest guys when applied in conjunction with TAA I mean at the same time as TAA I think it fares pretty good it is a little bit more blurry of course but at least you don't get jaggies and you get all these extras that I did show to you so now about the game what I do think about this game well in my honest opinion and very humble opinion I think that this is no match for a dirt rally or any code masters rally game but honestly they have been improving a lot year after year and this is very impressive to watch let me tell you and it is actually pretty good although regarding physics and gameplay I always I think that code masters do a much better job than Kivatune it is doing but I can really see them improving each year and I really hope they can get near what Coldmasters have been doing lately 
uh, with Dirt Rally, but Codemasters it is way more experienced than Kivatune and they have much more years on their luggage than Kivatune. Kivatune it is very recent comparing to Codemasters, so I believe that Kivatune with time, if they continue to improve game, the game year after year, I believe they can make a nice rally game. Although, like I said, I always favorite uh, Cold Masters before. But I think where Cold Masters fails completely, it is on the maps and usually the diversity that Cold Masters offers. They just usually offer like four countries or five, and the rest comes with a DLC or something. WRC offers much more maps, much more um, different maps. A good variety. variety of maps which is very good although and again gameplay I feel it is much more important than the different maps and so I still prefer Dirt Rally because of that but again I believe that WRC it is a good way as for the reviews of the community uh, most of the critics uh, are giving a score between 75 to 80 unfortunately the user scores are much lower between 5 to 6 I believe this is completely regarding you know the gameplay how good or bad it feels also to make it even worse Dirt Rally on consoles for example runs at 60 frames per second while WRC runs at 30 and playing this game at 30 uh, it is not bad, but it is completely a different experience than playing Dirt Ravi at 60 or even this game at 60. I tried this game at 60 frames per second on my desktop and the experience it is so much better than playing at 30 frames per second like we are doing in here. Don't get me wrong, you can clearly play this game at 30 frames per second in this laptop, but the experience comparing, comparing with 60 frames per second it is completely different. Alright guys. So I don't have too much more to talk about the WRC 8, in fact I don't have more to talk about the, the WRC 8. Hope you did enjoy the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Right four short into left three short at junction 80. Square left, widen to the tarmac, don't cut, 70. Caution, keep right, arrows after junction into left two. Right two, short into left one, medium, into square right, don't cut, 50. Chicane right narrows a junction, 100, keep left. Danger, hard break for chicane right, 30. Right three, and square right at junction into square left of the finish.